Welcome to Otaku No Video. Thanks for joining me for December 2nd, 2009. Coming up, a review of a really, really obscure anime called Birth, including a clip of it, so that'll be fun. But first, some recent news. Uh, some big manga news. Akira Toriyama, creator of Dragon Ball. I don't know if you've heard of that before. Also, Masakazu Katsura, who created DNA Square, Video Girl Eye, very popular kind of cute girl shows. They're teaming up. They're going to do a manga together. Um, it's going to be called Gia. It's about some kind of like Iron Man slash Guyver style alien superhero. I'm up for that. Uh, it'll be coming out, I think, in a couple of months. So, awesome. Uh, but uh, just a miniseries. Meanwhile, the third Blu-ray volume of Bakamonogatari was released this week. Um, kind of a weird recent show. It's only the second Blu-ray release ever to break the 40,000 disc mark in its first week. 40,000 discs sold in its first week. Wow, and that's across all Blu-ray discs released in Japan, not just anime. In case you're wondering, the first one, the, the, the top one, was uh, Evangelion 1.0, You Are Not Alone, the, the movie. So, yeah. This year's nominations for the prestigious Annie Awards for animation have come out. They include Hayao Miyazaki and Joe Hisaishi, good, for Ponyo and the Cliff by the Sea, obviously. Also some nominations for the folks working at Imagi on Astro Boy, the, one of the storyboard artists and the writers got some nominations. So I think deserved nominations all around. We still don't know who, who's actually going to win, so we'll see. Finally, Naruto fans, you may rejoice even more. Your favorite jumpsuited ninja uh, is the number six, or was the number six most popular search term on Yahoo for 2009. Which is awesome, except that 2009 is not over yet. So, I am here with a review of Birth, which is a classic example of why you need to understand the context of something to understand it. Birth is an hour-long OVA. Now, this stands for Original Video Animation, or OAV, Original Animated Video, and it basically means a direct-to-video release of something. Now, over here in America, that usually doesn't mean it's a particularly great thing. Uh, in Japan, it's actually a respected way of releasing an animation. See, for a studio to release a TV series, they often don't have, a, don't have a really big budget and there's a lot of material to pump out. And for a movie, you know, it has to be really high quality and you have that you know, a very firm release date. Now, in uh, the case of an OVA, you can kind of release it to the market whenever you're done. So, you can do a multi-episode story, something between the length of a movie and a TV series, and you can put more budget into it than you would a TV show. Uh, there have been a lot of really well-respected OVAs released in, in anime. Bubble Gun Crisis, Matt Cross Plus, um, In Mobile Suit Gundam, 8th MS Team, 0080, 0083, all those were OVAs. Uh, even Cowboy Bebop kind of benefited from that with some of the episodes that they didn't release on TV and just waited for the DVD release. So, Birth was arguably the first successful OVA. There was one done before this by Mamoru Oshii, but it didn't really, wasn't considered really successful. This is the first one to, to really find the formula, if you will. Um, and partly because the animation quality is so high. Now, the director of this is uh, Shinya Saramitsu. He went on to do to work on Crayon Shinchan and uh, a couple other, uh, things. I think he directed Dragon Pink. Um, a couple other, oh, I'm sorry, Dragon Half. Um, anyway, uh, several well-respected things. Um, music's actually by Joe Hisaishi, who did a lot of the Studio Ghibli stuff, although this is more in the in his early days and it's a lot of synthesizer stuff and but oh well um and the thing about it is the animation quality uh that's really the only thing i mean the the dub both japanese and english is pretty mediocre like the american dub is pretty bad um and i don't usually use you know value words when it comes to dubs but the, the dub is just um that said okay because I'm talking about the animation, I have to include a short clip of the animation here, you know, trying to, to do the whole fair use thing, because this is review is primarily about the animation. I gotta show you a clip here of what the animation of Birth actually looks like.
not done yet. Watch what happens next. entire anime is like that for an hour even dialogue scenes are like lots of movement and scratching and ha 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 and I mean, lots of movement I have never seen this much animation in anything especially with all that you know background full frame background movement as well as the foreground movement in anything you know anime Disney qual does Disney doesn't do that um, unbelievable so birth is kind of amazing just on that quality alone and it's a good thing no spoilers about the plot here but the plot um yeah uh basically there's this planet busting sword in fact planet buster is one of the alternate titles for this planet buster sword falls to this planet there are plucky teens on hover cycles they stumble across the sword immediately aliens show up and attack them and so they have to you know defend themselves um and then it ends, and it just kind of ends. Um, really weird, abstract, and either really specific, concrete ending, which then kind of has this abstract thing to it. I really, honestly, don't know what happened at the end. They may have all died. They may have all survived. I, I you know, they may all be perfectly normal. I really can't tell. Um, so yeah, not that good of, of an ending there. Not satisfying. But, again, the animation quality is, is amazing. And the nice thing is, because no one's ever seen this before in America, um, it's out uh, over here. There were actually two releases. The re most recent was an ADV release. Uh, and it's cheap. On Buy.com, it's like 9 bucks. I actually bought this for like $4 at New York Anime Festival. So it's out there, and it, it is kind of interesting. And the animation is kind of jaw-dropping. Um, and it's, you know, fun, goofy, silly stuff. So that's Birth.